I'm back guys. Tonight I am reviewing Halloween, the 1978 classic, and the underrated sequel, Halloween 2. I'm gonna be reviewing them in both I'm gonna be reviewing them both in one video. Cause let's face it, they're both like one movie, one three hour movie. I think it's ridiculous, you know, people would have waited four years for the sequel when it could have been just one movie, but you know. Now what more can I say about Halloween? Everybody knows the story. We all know the story, don't we? Psychotic bloody asshole escaped from his mental home, tries to kill his little baby sister, Laurie Strode. Yeah, you know. This, uh, it, yeah, it is a classic, man. You know, I first saw this when I was seven years old and I got terrified. But this wasn't the first Halloween movie I saw. I saw the fifth one first and, you know. <laughs> they were very scary, but I watched them now and I think, what? They're not scary anymore because I've seen them so many times and since then I've seen so much shit, you know. I've seen some really gruesome crap. Believe me, I'm not proud. Um, this was, we all know who Jamie Lee Curtis is, don't we? If you don't know who Jamie Lee Curtis is, look her up. She's a great actress. This was her first movie and she nailed it. She really, really fucking nailed it. Um, she plays Laurie Strode, who is, uh, Michael Myers' baby sister. He's trying to, well, not baby sister, because by then she's an adult. No, a teenager, but, you know, he's older than her. And, yeah, he's trying to kill her. Um, John Carpenter, of course, John Carpenter. I can't really say much about John Carpenter because I'm sure we all know who he is. If you don't know who he is, he's a great fucking movie director. He did, he did such classics like Big Trouble in Little China, which I reviewed. He reviewed, uh, he made The Thing, which I'll be seeing on the big screen. My, uh, my theatres are showing it and on the, the double feature with The Shining and I'm so looking forward to that. Uh... He did uh, the remake of Village of the Damned, which I like. Sue me, because I know people will hate it. Go fuck yourself. But if any of my friends are watching this who like the remake of Village of the Damned, I'm not telling you to go fuck yourself. I'm telling anyone else out there who hates it to go fuck themselves. Anyway. Uh, Donald Pleasance as... Um, um, S S Loomis. Dr. Loomis. <laughs> Forgotten his name for a second there. Mental Blake. Uh, he was also in Escape from New York, another John Carpenter classic with Kurt Russell. Um, he did a fucking good job as uh, Dr. Loomis, you know. And for 1978, I'm surprised they could get away with a movie like that. But, you know, 10 years before that, there was Psycho. I'm pretty sure Psycho was 10 years beforehand. Yeah, you know. Um, this is the movie that started the slasher genre. But of more like just really made the slasher genre popular. I mean, before that, you had Psycho, of course. You had the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ugh. I don't like Texas Chainsaw Massacre that much. Although, I, 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 I owe it enough that I have to see it again. You know, it's one of those films that... I was eating lasagna when I watched that movie. Ugh. No, this is definitely a classic, man. Um, it literally... It's it's got a great atmosphere. It's very slow paced, very slow burning though. So if you're typical people of today who don't like old stuff, don't watch it. I don't mean to sound harsh, but I'm that's just me. I, you know, some people said to me, "Oh, we're not going to watch that movie. It's made in the seventies. Oh, that movie's old. Bad effects. Yeah, well, this doesn't have any special effects. So you know, appreciate it for a." A good drama horror. Any, you know, I don't know. Just don't watch it if you if you don't like old films. Full stop. Don't watch it. But if you love horror films that much, then watch it. You know, it's a good fucking movie. I, I enjoy it. You know, there are many people out there who enjoy it though. And thumbs up. Um, I, and of course you have the second one. To me, these are both one movie. In to me, at least. Um, man, the score in this one is amazing. Uh, John Carpenter didn't direct this one. Uh, who directed it? Doesn't have his name. Excuse me, folks, while I look for it. Rick Rosenhall? Rosenhall? Well, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I think he actually directed Halloween Resurrection, um, which I actually don't mind that one. It's a good, good enough sequel. Um... John Carpenter comes back to do the music, of course. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. The score in this one, I may have mentioned it. I'm not sure. Um, the score in this film is amazing. John Carpenter did the score. I'm sure he did the score. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he did the score to this. The score is... 
it, there is a lot of bits in the movie where there's no music, but it really brings the atmosphere up even more. And then when the music finally hits, it's like, shit. You know, it's more like jump up scares. You know, more like, Ugh. it's more like, fuck. And the score on this one, John Carpenter comes back to do it. With, um, doesn't say his name. But he did the music again with um, another music composer, which they both do it very well. Um, ba yeah, basically this film is set seconds after the first one. You know, um, Laurie, like, on the first one, she notices all her friends have been killed and she's being chased by Michael Myers. It's really enough, it's a simple film, you know. And, but then you have this one, she's taken the hospital and basically the rest of the film is just... Michael Myers trying to get to her, killing everyone in the hospital just to get to her. And then we find out then in that one that, you know, she is um, Michael Myers' little sister who's trying to kill. I don't want to say too much because, you know, if you haven't seen it, go and see it. I'm going to be like that in my reviews. I'm not going to say much. All I'm going to do is just say how good it is, you know, what's good about it, what's bad about it. I will say there's nothing really bad about this movie. Except for this Blu-ray release. This Blu-ray release, the picture quality could have been done better, but... That's not really anything about... That's not to do with the movie. This one, the only thing I don't like about it is how the first half was just great. You know, it's like everyone's around the town, you know, they just found out what's going on, everyone's gathering around. It just felt like they were in civilization, but then the last half when it's more in the hospital, it just felt like all that, that hypeness to it, the atmosphere, it just went straight down. That's the only thing I don't like about Halloween 2. Actually, I can't really say I. that's one thing I don't like. I can't say that I don't like it. I don't like... I don't hate anything about this movie. But it will be was one thing about it that I thought, you know, wasn't the best was the fact that the last half was just, you know, it just wasn't as good as the first half. But it was still good. Don't get me wrong. Still a good damn sequel. The music made it more scary. The film itself is more bloody scary. The kills are much more intense. You know, Michael Myers is a strong motherfucker, man. Like, you know, in this one, he bloody... He, he stabs one of the nurses in the back with a little pocket knife and lifts her up. It's like, man, wherever the hell he was locked up must have had a massive gym there or something. He must have hit it three or four hours a day. Fuck me, I do the gym and I can't even cope with an hour. I wonder if Michael Myers went to the gym. Of course, we all know what his mask looks like. That was actually um, some sort of like it was a uh, it was um, inspired by Captain Kirk or something like that. I don't know, like from Star Trek. I don't know the full details of that. All I know is that it's some sort of Captain Kirk mask, which is pretty funny. It's like you know Star Trek meets Halloween, and there were a shitload of sequels of. Halloween. It was Halloween 3, which nobody liked because it didn't have Michael Myers, because to me, Halloween 3 is more like a separate horror film. It's just called Season of the Witch. But originally, I read somewhere years ago that they had planned on spinning off a whole new series after Halloween 3, you know, which made sense, because Michael Myers was killed at the end of the second one. Or was he? But because it didn't do so well, because it didn't have Michael Myers, everybody hated it, they didn't do it. They didn't, they didn't do sequels anymore, uh, to that one, at least. So to me, it's just, a, it's just, it's a separate horror movie called Season of the Witch, you know? It's a good film, it's an underrated film, not many people like it. I think it's one of those films that's getting more appreciated. Um, uh, there was Halloween 4, which had Michael Myers come back, where he's, I, I won't go into any details, I'll just, like, say a brief, you know, what I think of them. Halloween 4 is a good sequel, Halloween 5 I love because it was the first one I ever saw. Halloween H2O or H20, whatever you want to say it, is a good sequel. So was Halloween Resurrection. And I actually didn't like, I, I loved the remake of Halloween when I was 12, but then it, I hated it afterwards. I thought, oh shit. But then I watched it again recently and I thought, nah, it's actually good. So uh, sorry also for the delays of um, movie reviews, especially considering it's October, I'll be reviewing horror movies. I was going to try to find some decent ones to review. Um, and in case, you've, in case you're wondering, I'm in a different room now. I moved my computer into a separate room. It's it's a lot more smaller. It's a lot more smaller than my bedroom. But 
it feels more better in a second office now. So you'll be seeing me in this room from time, well, most of the time, but you know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for listening to my sorry ass for like 10 or 11 minutes, however fucking how long it's been. Um, yeah, I won't say much more because just go and see it, you know. So one of those believe it or go fuck yourself. Don't go fuck yourself, I didn't mean to say that. Thanks for watching and take care and I'll be back reviewing more movies whenever I can. You know, I say that but then I barely do anything. I just got a lot of shit I've got to deal with. Thanks guys.